We want to know what you think. If you enjoy the videos please like subscribe comment and share. What miracles wrought by Jesus Christ can you tell? And what lessons from these miracles have you applied in your life? Every miracle is purely by the finger of God for no one can explain it, even so the miracles performed by Jesus Christ were purely the finger of God. This article gives some of the miracles of Christ and the lessons drawn from them which you can apply to your life to experience multiply miracles too. And when the Sabbath had come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get these things? And what wisdom is this which is given him, that such mighty works are performed by his hands? Mark chapter 6 verse 2 NKJV I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is righteous, because I do not seek my own will but the will of the Father who sent me, John chapter 5 verse 30 NKJV Jesus Christ performed great miracles and healed many people, to the point that people were astonished and wondered what kind of wisdom was operational in him, that mighty works were performed by his hands. In all, Christ gave glory to God and testified that of himself he can do nothing. Now, let's consider some of Christ's mighty works and what lessons we can learn from them. 1. Water turned into wine, John chapter 2 verses 1 to 12. In a wedding in Cana of Galilee where Jesus was a guest with his mother and disciples, the wine finished and Jesus Christ's mother came and told him about it. Initially Christ seemed not to be interested, but that didn't dissuade his mother. Instead she told the servants to do whatever he tells them to do. Jesus told them to fill the water pots with water, which they did. After which he told them to draw some out and take it to the master of the feast and they did. Apparently, as they were going the water turned to wine which the master of the feast confirmed as a good wine. This was Christ's first miracle and manifested his glory. Never forget to invite Christ to whatever you are doing. If you encounter any challenge don't hesitate to tell him. Always do whatever he tells you to do even if it sounds foolish. Jesus is never late and his own things are always the best. 2. Nobleman's son healed, John chapter 4 verses 46 to 54. A certain nobleman, whose son was sick to the point of death at Capernaum, heard that Jesus had come out of Judea into Galilee and came and implored Christ to come and heal his son. Jesus asked him to go his way that his son lives, instead of going with him as he had requested. He believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and went his way. On his way his servants met him and told him that his son was healed. When he inquired of the time he got better, he discovered it was the same time that Jesus told him his son lives. And he and his household believed in Christ. Seek Jesus wherever you can find him you are free to ask him whatever you may desire. Believe every word that he speaks to you, even if it's not what you expected to hear from him, or it's not what you desired him to say or do. Christ's ways are higher and better than our ways. God's goodness brings about repentance. 3. Feeding the multitudes, John chapter 6 verses 1 to 14, Matthew chapter 15 verses 32 to 39. In John chapter 6 verses 1 to 14, a great multitude, including about 5,000 men, followed Jesus over the Sea of Galilee. When Jesus saw the multitude he asked Philip where they could buy bread to feed them, testing him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him that 200 denarii worth of bread would not be sufficient for them to even take a bite. Then Andrew, one of his disciples mentioned that a lad had five barley loaves and two fish, and then asked what that could do among so many. Jesus asked them to make the people sit down. He then took the loaves and fish available, gave thanks and distributed them to his disciples, and the disciples to those sitting down. They ate till they were filled up. Jesus then asked them to gather the fragments that remained, so that nothing was lost. They filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five loaves which were left over by those who had eaten. Then, the people declared that Jesus was truly the prophet who was to come into the world. Also in Matthew chapter 15 verses 32 to 39, almost the same scenario occurred. Jesus needed to feed 4,000 men, besides women and children, after three days of having nothing to eat. They had only seven loaves and a few little fish. Jesus took these and broke it and gave it to the disciples to distribute to the people seated as he had commanded. 
They all ate and were filled, and they took up seven large baskets of the fragments left. Jesus Christ is forever concerned about our welfare sometimes, God may test you to know how much faith you have and how much you know of him. Whatever you have is enough for God to work with Christ is very orderly and organized, so you should do the same thanksgiving as a key to multiplication teamwork is essential for success in life Jesus hates wastes and accountability is an important quality to have. 4. Lazarus raised from death, John chapter 11 verses 1 to 44. A certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, brother to Mary and Martha. His sisters sent a message to Jesus that he was sick. When Jesus heard it he quickly declared that the sickness was not unto death, but for the glory of God. However, he stayed two more days in the place where he was, after which he and his disciples left for Lazarus' place. When Jesus got to the place, Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. After an insightful discussion with Martha, he asked for Lazarus' tomb. The people around wondered why Christ who could open blind eyes could not keep the sick Lazarus from dying. On getting to the tomb, he asked that the stone laid against it be taken away. Martha reminded him that by now there would be a great stench, for he had been dead four days. And Jesus reminded her of what he said to her earlier that if she would believe, she would see the glory of God. When they removed the stone, Jesus lifted up his eyes and thanked God, the Father. Then he called forth Lazarus with a loud voice, and he who was dead came out bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. God hears you the very time you pray in faith declaring what you want in the face of an opposite situation empowers your desire to come to pass. God is never late. God will not always act as you expect. There is no situation too smelly, messy, difficult or impossible that God cannot intervene in order to put a smile on your face. If you would believe, you will see the glory of God in that situation. Every stone blocking your freedom or deliverance needs to be removed before you can come forth, it could be the stone of unbelief or doubt, disobedience, unforgiveness, etc. Your salvation is not with man but with God, so look up to Jesus. Thanksgiving unto God is a vital step for your victory. Jesus always finishes his work on you, till you are loosed and allowed to go he is not done. 5. Tribute money from a fish, Matthew chapter 17 verses 24 to 27. When Jesus and his disciples got to Capernaum, those who received the temple tax came to Peter and asked him if Jesus pays temple tax and Peter answered yes. Immediately Peter entered the house, without being told anything Jesus asked Peter who the kings of the earth take taxes from, their sons or strangers. Peter answered that it is from strangers, and Jesus said to him, then the sons are free. Nevertheless, so that the tax collectors will not be offended, Jesus asked Peter to go to the sea, cast in a hook, and take the fish that comes up first, that in its mouth, he would find a piece of money. He told him to take it and pay for their taxes for Peter and himself. God hears all our conversations you should not always insist on your rights. You should obey authorities God will use any means whatsoever to bless you. God's provisions are never insufficient. 6. The woman with issue of blood healed, Mark chapter 5 verses 25 to 34. A certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years. She had suffered many things from many physicians, spent all she had but never got better. When she heard about Jesus, she went behind him and touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his garment, I shall be made whole. Immediately she touched him she was healed. Jesus knowing that power had gone out of him, turned around and asked, who touched my clothes? The disciples said to him that the multitude was thronging him and he was still asking who touched him. Then the woman came and gave her testimony and Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Jesus is the last bus stop for your challenge, for God will never refer you to another physician. He has the answer to that problem. Your mouth is the gateway to your salvation. You shall have what you say. Christ is the cheapest consultant for he charges nothing to help you but he loves it when you receive him as your Lord and Savior. You need to take action with the message of Christ that you hear so that you can access your blessings from God. Your faith makes you well. 7. Jesus walks on the sea, Matthew chapter 14 verses 22 to 33. 
After feeding the multitude, Jesus sent them away and made his disciples to go over to the other side ahead of him, while he went to the mountain to pray. The wind became contrary and the boat was tossed by the waves. By evening, Jesus went to the disciples walking on the sea, and when they saw him they were troubled. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him that if it was really him that he should command him to come. So Jesus said, Come. And Peter came down and walked on the sea. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he became afraid and began to sink. He cried out to Jesus to save him and Christ stretched out his hand and caught him and reproved him of his little faith. When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those who were in the boat came and worshipped Jesus and affirmed that truly, he was the Son of God. God's voice commands peace of mind, fear disappears and boldness sets in. When you act on God's words, you see a miracle when you look away from Jesus unto your troubled issue, fear will set in and you will begin to sink. No matter the stage of your life, when you reach out to Jesus, he will always stretch out his hands to save you. Circumstances submit themselves to the presence of God. Miracle makes you worship God 8. Wind and wave obey Jesus Christ, Mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 41. Jesus and his disciples decided to cross over to another side by boat. However, a great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat, so that it was already filling. But Jesus was asleep in the stern. The disciples went to him and asked him if he didn't care that they were perishing. Jesus then arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Then, Christ said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? The disciples wondered among themselves who he was that even the wind and the sea obey him. Jesus has the peace that passes all understanding. He rested in the midst of fiery storm. This peace is also available for you when you have Jesus in you. Every created thing hears the words of Christ and obey him by faith any Christian believer can do what Jesus did. Fear is a hindrance to exploits we can do in Christ. 9. Healing of the Ten Lepers, Luke chapter 17 verses 11 to 19. Jesus entered a certain village and met ten lepers. They cried out to him for mercy and he asked them to go and show themselves to the priests. As they went, they were cleansed. One of them, a Samaritan, when he saw that he was healed returned to thank Jesus. Jesus asked for the other nine who didn't return to give glory to God. Then, he said to the Samaritan, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. A cry of mercy Jesus will never ignore. Whatever Jesus tells you to do, do it no matter how foolish it may sound. Your answer will come as you obey the last instructions given to you. It's important to always return to give God all the glory because that is when your testimony is perfected. Your faith will always make you whole. 10. Healing of a Centurion's Servant, Matthew chapter 8 verses 5 to 13. A centurion went to Jesus when he entered Capernaum and pleaded with him to heal his servant. Jesus offered to go and heal him. But the centurion said he was not worthy to have Jesus under his roof, but that he should only speak a word and his servant will be healed. That he being a man under authority, has soldiers under him. And that whatever he tells them to do is what they do. When Jesus heard the words of the man, he marveled and called it great faith. Then turned to the centurion and said to him, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. Jesus Christ is ever ready to heal anybody. Words of Christ are full of authority and everything that hears them obeys him great faith pleases God. It is to you according to your faith. It doesn't take God time to answer you, but your faith determines the speed with which you receive your answers. In conclusion, these miracles were documented for us to learn from them and believe God to do the same in our lives, in areas where we need them. Jesus said in John chapter 14 verse 12, that anyone who believes in him that the very works he does, he will also do, and greater works than the ones he did he will also do. So, are you ready to do great work?